like something just looks off. Like, I feel like I look, I don't know. Is it the wig? Is it the fact that the wig is not all the way down, girl? I don't know. Is it the fact that I didn't button up my sleeve? <laughs> Wow, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deidre and today I have another fun video for you guys. I actually have a fun video this time. All my videos are fun, but this one is especially fun because we're talking about gift giving. So today I wanted to share with you guys a couple of items that personally I've been loving this year and I feel like you got somebody in your life who's going to also enjoy what I have to mention today, especially the home lovers. But I do have a couple of beauty items here. So anyways, I'm not going to keep a long intro because y'all know <laughs> I like to talk. I am going to of course start with some of the home items. And again, all of these gifts are things that I personally would want. I mean, I have them sitting here. So obviously these are things that I like. First thing I want to start with is a cozy blanket. This one is from Anthropology, and I love this blanket so much. It's one of those, I don't know what the technical name is for it, but it's one of those blankets that has like an interchangeable bleached outside. I think this is like the perfect cozy gift to give somebody. It just... I love this blanket and if you have somebody like I said that enjoys being cozy or just having something pretty in their space I say go ahead and get them a nice little throw blanket and you can jazz these kinds of gifts up you can throw it in a basket you can throw something like this in a basket you can also like zhuzh it up with like some snacks or something make it like a nice little gift basket or something I love a good blanket somebody in your life is gonna love a good blanket I'm just saying now now I have mentioned this tray I have mentioned this tray Probably in all of my recent videos, <laughs> somehow, some way, I mentioned this Target tray. And now I want to tell you guys something. This tray got to still be available. I was at Target the other day and I saw it. I saw it. You can run out and get this for somebody. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know how I was watching TV without this big oversized tray. I just, I literally, I have no idea how I was doing life without this. Like, you know, I'm one of those people... I eat on my couch, okay? I do. I eat, watch TV, give me a good little show. Usually it's YouTube. <laughs> I find me a good little YouTube video and I need a snack, okay? I need food. Like, not even just a snack. I need a real dinner when I'm watching whatever I find entertaining. So, this just comes in handy. But not only that, I use this for, obviously, eating on, but I've made so many charcuterie boards using this. So, okay, <laughs> settle down, D. Not so many, but a few. I've done a few charcuterie boards using this tray, and I just think it would make the perfect gift, especially for somebody who is into charcuterie boards and cheese boards and things of that nature. Or, for like I said, just somebody who wants to eat on their couch and not worry about spilling food on it. This right here... I don't know, you guys. I don't know. This might be my favorite thing in this entire video. I love this. It gets so much use. It gets so much use. Everybody needs a tray for their couch, a tray for their bed, a tray for their car. <laughs> Everybody needs a tray. I love this so much, and you can still find it at Target. Let's go ahead and move along. I love it so much. So like I told you guys, I was just in Target the other day, and I was just, you know, looking around in the dollar spot, and they have like some new items. I had to snatch it up before the girls got to it first because it is this decanter. Um, what is this even for? Like dark liquor? Do you put like some uh, some bourbon in this? What do you do with this? This was only five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars in the Target dollar spot, and I am completely obsessed now. If you have somebody that likes to partake in the alcoholote, <laughs> I think they would enjoy something like this. And you can even put their favorite bottle with this. Like I said, this Christmas season, you can go a little bit extra, go the extra mile and put together like a little care package. You want to do something like this and maybe their favorite wine bottle. This is like perfect for that coworker that you know loves to turn up, whatever the case may be. I had to pick this up personally because I think in 2022 I want to work on a bar situation but we can talk about that <laughs> we can talk about that a little bit later but that's kind of why I picked this up but I did think that this was a nice affordable Christmas gift and like I said you can really zhuzh this up with the person's favorite drink of choice it's glass all right 
moving on. Okay, so since we're on the subject of drinks and cocktails and that type of deal, this is another one of my personal favorites. I can't wait to show you all this. Now, if you're new to my channel, I mentioned in a video a long time ago, this might've been last year, that I love collecting drinkware, glasses, um, cocktail glasses, wine glasses, you name it. I have a real sick obsession, all right? I know, I know I have a real sick obsession. I found these, look at these. Look at how beautiful these are. I love twirling them around because do you see what that does? You know what I want to say? With New Year's coming up, we're cheersing to a New Year's clink. Why wouldn't this be like such a stunning gift to give somebody? You could literally just buy a set of two. I got these from World Market. Like I told you guys, you're going to see a lot of World Market here. I got these from World Market. They were about $7. And I can't wait to pour like some champagne. Champagne. I can't wait to pour some champagne inside of this. I don't know. I just, glasses like this, it just, it reminds me of art. It just reminds me of being 31. <laughs> I'm 31. I'm going to be 32. Anyways, it just reminds me of being grown, being sexy. When you invite people over, I want you to have actual glasses to drink in. We're not doing paper cups. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I'm grown. I'm grown. And that's what these remind me of. So I think this would be such a fun gift. Again, like I mentioned with the decanter, you can buy your person of choice, their favorite um, bottle of champagne or a bottle of wine, and you can make a gift basket, like stick these in a gift basket with a little grass stuff. And um, I think that would make like the perfect gift for like a friend, a coworker, hell, somebody in your family. If you love coupe glasses like I do, these are my new babies. I love them so much. If you guys enjoy coupe glasses, I will say check out World Market, of course. But one of my favorite places to go to is CB2. And I do have a second one here. I've shown you guys this in a few of my past videos. But it's something about the ridges. It's something about the shape of this one that I really enjoy. The, the two shapes, just honestly, to me, they complement each other so well. And I actually have three of each. I used to have four of these, but I broke one. <laughs> It was tragic. It was a real tragic day, um, RIP. But now I have three of these and I feel like they make a really interesting set. I don't know. I would be thrilled. And and if they threw a bottle of wine, listen, you're a real one. Those are good gifts, right? Do you guys like these gifts so far? I think you need to leave me a like and I think you need to subscribe. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I think this is my last home item to talk about. Now, it's another item that I actually talked about months ago. I mean, I don't even know how I still have this candle, but I am talking about the Mason Francis Kirk de Jean Putty um, Baccarat Rouge 540 candle. How do I still have this? <laughs> it's like how do I still have this? It smells so good. You guys remember my candle video, which I don't know if I should link it down below or if you guys wanna just go on my channel, you'll see it's a candle video. I did a whole luxury candle. Actually, it was all price ranges, but whatever. Um, you guys would have seen me buy this candle. Now, this is for the ultimate candle lover. Um, this is for that friend that likes uh, a little bit of luxury, all right? It smells so good. Good, and I remember in that video, I feel like I was a little underwhelmed with the smell, but once you light it, and even now, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like because I wanna talk about that, but I really do think that this smell is just rich. This is for your candle-loving friend that likes to feel rich. <laughs> but I'm not lying though. Am I lying? Tell me I'm lying because I'm not. This just smells so good. Now, this one is a little bit pricey. I can't remember exactly how much this candle is, but I want to say that it is on the above $100 price point. But again, this is just for that special friend that you know enjoys candles, enjoys smelling like Lux in their place. You guys are probably wondering how, I mean, it's got dust on it. <laughs> you guys are probably wondering how I still have this in my collection. I knew that when I bought this, it was only going to be lit for special occasions. I haven't had it. I haven't had 
any special occasions. I've, I've had reasons to like this, but it's one of those, listen, I don't got a hundred something dollars to spend every day on a candle. So she, I was, I was going to take my time. I do want to mention that this burns a little odd. So let me show you what it looks like. I want to say like my little candle uh, wick, it's like laying flat. So I got to take some scissors and figure out how I'm going to get that out. But yeah, I think this is so great. Um, and this is the last of the home gift giving items. I don't know about you, but I like these gifts so far. All right, so moving on to beauty. This next product is hands down one of my favorite beauty products, period. <laughs> period. This is one of my favorite beauty products ever in life. And that is, of course, the Bum Bum Cream. The Bum Bum Cream Sol de Janeiro, is that how you say it? The Bum Bum Cream, this is like my third, fourth year, I don't know. I have to have this every single summer. And if you have a friend that has never tried this, which by the way, I mean, I just don't know anybody who's not smelt this, tried this, whatever. It's been around for that long. I barely have any of it left. And it's my summer, it's my summer thing. Now you guys are probably thinking you're gonna wait all the way till next summer? Of course not. Of course we're gonna finish it. Of course, of course. But this Bum Bum Cream is the truth. It smells so good. Everybody, I wear this around. And I only wear it around, actually, <laughs> I've only worn it around my mom and my boyfriend, to be honest with you. No, I've worn it around friends. It just smells so good. My mom enjoyed it a lot. And actually for her birthday, I got her a set that came with a shower gel. It came with something else. And of course the Bum Bum Cream. This is such a good gift to give people. And especially if you're going into Sephora right now, I'm pretty sure they have gift sets. Um, again, she's a favorite. It's a favorite. It's a classic. I love the way this smells. Bum Bum Cream is definitely one of my favorites. It's just, it's such a good, it's so good. Like I said, most of the items that I'm talking about today, and I'm sorry if I'm looking at you guys, but I just feel like I have something on my face. Like, I, anyways, um, most of these items I've actually tried this year, and that's why this video is kind of uh, a few of my favorite things from this year, but also a good, perfect gift to give somebody. So if you have a skincare lover, <laughs> I cannot believe I finally finished this. This is the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Day Wait, <laughs> let me read that again. This is the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Daydream. What? Can I not read? This is the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. Why do, Why are their names so long? That's what be tripping me up. But anyways, I did a video earlier this year, like a Sephora and an Ulta haul. Let me know if I should do something like that again. Because I'm, I'm literally out of everything that I bought in that haul at this point. But... This night cream, Jeff's Kiss. This cream is so soft. The brand is fresh. You guys, I am completely out of this. I saved it. I literally saved this bottle because I knew I was going to do a video like this. I just didn't know it was going to be a gift guide. But I saved this for a reason. This, this is so soft. It is so soft. When you take your makeup off after a long, hard day of, I don't know. And then you wash your face with a cleanser and I'm so mad. I actually threw my favorite cleanser this year away. And that's the Tatcha, the rice water. Anyways, she's not here. She, she can't make a special appearance in this video, but I love that too. After you wash your face with that and then you put on this night cream, baby, you're going to wake up with some very soft skin. So if you have somebody in your life who enjoys that kind of um, beauty routine where they have a day, a night, a this, or that girl, they do, they do so much these days. But if you have a friend that's into that um, and they've heard of the brand Fresh, this is something that you can find at Sephora. It is so good. And again, you can do like a little um, set. I'm not saying that you have to buy like the full thing, <laughs> but you can get little um, travel sizes and do sort of like a stocking stuffer type of gift. I think throwing something like this, like skincare and maybe some face masks and other fun little things will be such a good gift, especially for your beauty loving friends. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. This is going to be an honorable mention. That's why I said 10, maybe 11 products because I've not actually bought this product yet. But if you thought that I loved 
the last item I showed you guys from Fresh, I got one of those Sephora gifts because you know how that goes. And they put in this Laneige face cream. And it's um, so, when I tell you this, this, this is better than this. And I love this. This, this Laneige, I must, it is a must. I must get the full size of this because I'm one of those people when Sephora gives us those little gifts, I actually try the product to see if I'm going to like it. Um... That's actually how I found a lot of products to try along with watching people on YouTube. But this, when I bought my mom her birthday gift, this was a while back. I've had this since September. It's gone now. But you see like this little thing, this lasts me. This stuff is the truth. Get into this. I want you to get into it because this is the honest to God truth. I cannot, I cannot wait to get a full size of this. I don't know how to describe it. It leaves your skin feeling like a i don't want to say a baby's butt because that's disgusting but it it leaves your skin feeling so soft like a softness i have never i literally have never felt anything moisturizing that feels quite like this i might think i might be exaggerating you think i'm exaggerating but this is the truth i just had to throw this in there because i didn't actually purchase this and i have like a little travel size sample but trust me, when I do another skincare video, which I don't know when that's going to be, this is going to be mentioned. It's going to be mentioned. <laughs> I would love a good product. I just, I love a good product. Tell me you don't love a good product. For the last of beauty, this is for your friend that likes to smell good. <laughs> this is for the friend that loves to smell delicious. Now, this scent is a summer scent. Okay, when I bought it, it was in the springtime. And trust me, I didn't wear it until June 1st. True story. But it is the Replica Beach Walk. Hold on, the light is not doing it justice. Look at this. The Replica Beach Walk perfume. I told you guys in a previous video that this literally smells like the beach. It smells like a beach. So hold on. Oh my gosh, I just don't know anybody who loves perfume who wouldn't like this. This reminds me of summer. It reminds me of warm weather. I did wear this a lot this summer and it just, mm. I'm one of those people where I wear my perfumes when I'm going out and only if I'm going out, but like if I'm hanging around friends for whatever reason, especially if I'm in, just in somebody's apartment, I'm not putting on perfume like that. But when I'm going out and me and Sheree actually went out a lot this summer, mm, this is what I was wearing. It smells so good. It just, it smells so good. Like, I just, I sprayed a little bit of it. I don't like to spray my stuff too much. I'm surprised I did as much as I just did. But this smells so good. So if you have a friend that loves perfume and they don't have this in their collection for the summertime, you guys, this is warm weather or vacation, right? Don't wear this in the winter time. Uh, anyways, they're going to really enjoy this. I love it. Look at how much I've used. Look at how much I've used only for one summer. I'm just saying this one because it really smells like summer and I just can't see anybody not liking this. So that's why I mentioned this one, but I will say with perfumes, you have to be careful because not everybody likes the same scents, but this one is one I think is, it's pretty universal. I just don't know anybody who wouldn't want to smell the beach all the time. Okay, so we're winding down to the last two items and both of them don't really fall into a category of any sort. So these are my miscellaneous gifts that you can give somebody. And you guys knew I was going to talk about vinyls at some point in this video because I have been obsessed with vinyls for the past two years, two years. I love a good vinyl. And of course, I have to show you guys a couple of examples. I do have a few vinyls. You guys know I did a vinyl video. I did two of them mugs. So if you haven't seen my vinyl videos, you should probably check them out on my channel. But two of my favorites, you guys, vinyls are, vinyls are such a good gift to give somebody who loves music. I love a good vinyl. I think that this is, it's one of those personal gifts because if you have a friend that you know loves listening to a certain artist, I think it's one of those things that, 
it's a thoughtful gift. You know what I mean? It's like, I know you love Beyonce, for example. Let me get you your favorite Beyonce vinyl. I don't know. It, to me, I would love that. Like, I actually did get some vinyls for my birthday earlier this year. And it really meant something to me. Because I'm like, you know, you, you know the artist that I love? You know the artist? It made me so happy. So I think that giving vinyls is just, it's one of those things that we, I don't think that people really think to give these. Like, I have a friend, for example, who loves Usher. <laughs> she loves Usher and I do too. Low key, um, Usher, I forget what vinyl website or I forget what vinyl page popped up on my Instagram, but they have this Usher Confessions vinyl. It's gold, like the actual vinyl itself is gold. I need that. I, I need that in my life. I, again, I just think this is one of those underrated gifts that people don't really think about. Like a lot of us think about I don't know, regular stuff. But no one's really thinking about buying somebody uh, their favorite artist's vinyl. And I just think, why not? I think it's such a thoughtful gift and you know, vinyls. I don't have much else to say. It's music, who does not like music? Get your favorite music lover their favorite artist in a vinyl. It's such a good gift, it really is. I have to use this every day. A water bottle, simple, easy, and so practical. You guys, I was gifted this water bottle. Uh, Tree and I are trying to make sure we get in all the water we need for a day. Where am I at today? I am just barely at, I'm just a little over 9 a.m. But this right here, oh my gosh, it's so heavy. This right here is a real game changer. Now, I know y'all thinking like, girl, it's just a water bottle. When he ordered this for me and gave it to me, I was like, that's love right there. You care that I get, you care that I'm hydrated. <laughs> I know it's simple, but something like this is good for like, if you work in an office, like I used to, I um did a water challenge with a couple of my coworkers and that was actually a lot of fun. So if you're still in an office, this is good to get for like your coworkers. I mean, so many people actually have this, but for the ones who don't, they're like up and down, filling up their tiny little water bottles. You can get them something like this and they just gotta make one trip. It makes it so much easier because I know for me, I had like this little tiny, I had a smaller one. I had a smaller one that I was using and I have to like fill it up four times a day and that was just beginning to be work for me. So having something like this, look at it, it's like, it's bigger than my head. Having something like this just makes drinking water so much easier. I'm like not up and down, filling up a water bottle, forget purposely forgetting to fill up my water bottle because I don't want to. Um, I just fill this up in the morning and I'm good to go for the rest of the day, like literally. And you can find something like that, super inexpensive, maybe $20 on Amazon. That's actually where this one came from. So another thoughtful gift that people don't really think about. And, and here's the thing about gift giving. I just feel like anytime you get somebody anything should be appreciated. Like don't feel like you have to break your bank just to get somebody something. Like make sure that it's coming from a, a good place, but you're not um, overdoing it to where it puts you in a bad situation or that you feel bad that you couldn't do more. Doing anything is a blessing to somebody. So that's just kind of what I just wanted to toss that in there because I know this time of year, people feel like they have to spend their last dime getting people stuff and it's it's really the thought that counts and if the people around you don't realize that girl they don't deserve a gift anyway <laughs> okay that is all i have for this video you guys i hope you saw some inspiration i hope i gave you guys some ideas and if you're anything like me maybe you bought some of these items for yourself all right i love giving myself a gift i, I give myself gifts pretty darn often <laughs> Anyways, I, I again want to apologize that I keep looking at myself in this video, but girl, I, I haven't actually touched my face yet, but I keep looking because I'm like, I feel like something just looks off. Like, I feel like I look, I don't know. Is it the wig? Is it the fact that the wig is not all the way down, girl? I don't know. Is the fact that I didn't button up my sleeve? <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys again so much for watching. If you like videos like this, then don't forget to do all the things that the YouTubers tell you to do. <laughs> The YouTubers tell you to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'm one of those people now, so go ahead and do that for me. Go ahead and do that for me. Okay, anyways, until next time, bye.